Okay. We're on number three, 12 lies that the world tells entrepreneurs based on my experience because AC Marketing is celebrating 12 years in existence. And number three is partnership is a leaky ship. And I remember hearing this for the first time from someone who I looked at as a mentor and he said it in jest. And I think it's something that disparages the value of what it means to have a business partner. And it also assumes that the environment that that person is in has support, meaning you have support from your family, you have support from the government, you have support from society. Unfortunately, that doesn't exist a lot of the times. Um, <clears throat> and to have, you know, a great idea and the resistance and the grit needed to build a business is admirable, but we need more. <laughs> it's just, you know, just look at people like Jeff Bezos when they, when he created Amazon and obviously had a lot of people within the business, he also had a wife building that company. And when they split, she has, <laughs> she became a billionaire because she has part of that company because she helped build that company. She helped Jeff Bezos have a life. Um, and I, you know, in terms of heterosexual relationships and marriage, that's not what this is about. This is about the fact that you have that support, uh, and that's monetary, that's valuable support. You have people like Elon Musk, you know, people associate Tesla with him, but he's co-founded PayPal with two other in individuals. And <clears throat> for me, <laughs> obviously <laughs> not a billionaire, uh, I started, uh, uh, business in in parallel to AC marketing and it's an events company and you know within two years of creating that business in Barbados it's a four day morning band more popularly known as Juve in Trinidad and Grenada you know I started out with a friend who we were like we can do this better and we did we did do it better and <laughs> We started to argue about small things um, over time and then it just got very difficult to communicate and it ended where he took out, you know, money without me knowing and um, there was a lot that I learned from that experience and I wasn't happy about the exit but at the same time it was important for me to learn how to work with somebody as well as there's something about having two people who are just as, as invested in an idea versus one person and it's, it could be simple things like you know um i was more into marketing space obviously uh, for the event and he was more operational so i didn't have to necessarily be juggling those two things and that in turn help build the business faster help build the uh ability for us to grow faster because you didn't just have one person doing everything and i've spoken to so many small businesses around the caribbean who feel this way about partnership because they may have gotten burnt in the past they may have grown up with family members who don't necessarily support them. So they don't, don't, they don't, they don't feel like they can lean in towards, um, sharing their idea, this idea of holding it together. So it's almost like a Superman syndrome. And I think that we're losing out on the possibility of growing as a society when we lean on each other. You know, when you actually look at businesses like Microsoft who have shares in Facebook, you know, <laughs> a lot of financial companies in the Caribbean have shares in each other's businesses. So if these companies who have massive numbers, we're talking six, seven figures on their balance sheet when profit comes and they're investing in each other, why aren't small businesses looking to lean on people and work with people? And I think we need to be able to have a broader conversation around what it means to have a partner and what you need to look for when you're looking for that partner. So in closing, um, I think the idea of a partnership as a leadership is not a fair outlook on what it means to run a business. Stick around for number four.